so today we will see the arterial supply of the heart so on the left side we have the left auricle right side we have the right auricle in between you will see the pulmonary trunk and inferior side on the right atrium we have the opening for the inferior vena cava above side we have the opening for the superior vena cava posterior to the pulmonary trunk we have the ascending aorta with its wall or sinuses so in the ascending aorta we have the anterior left posterior and the right posterior sinuses right coronary artery is taking origin from the anterior aortic sinus running between the right auricle and the pulmonary trunk and then in the right or atrioventricular groove or anterior atrioventricular groove then it is winding around the inferior border and reaching till the cracks and here it will anastomos with the other artery and near the inferior border it will give the other branch near the superior vena cava we have the sinoatrial node or SA node below near the inferior vena cava we have the AV node then this will give some conus branch and the nodal branches it will give some atrial branches and the ventricular branches one branch to the AV node and again in the posterior side it will give the posterior interventricular artery so this is the nodal branch to the SA node this is the arterial branch to the right atrium this is the ventricular branch it will supply the anterior surface of the right ventricle this is the conus branch and posterior side near the inferior margin we have the right marginal branch and posterior side in the posterior interventricular groove we have the posterior interventricular artery now we will see the left coronary artery taking origin from the left aortic sinus running in the anterior interventricular groove till the inferior margin and here it will wind around the border and anastomos with the posterior interventricular artery near the auricle it will give the circumflex branch which will wind around the lateral border of the heart and anastomos with the right coronary artery and it will also give the one branch marginal branch which will run till the apex it will also give some small branches this is the diagonal branch and ventric or septal branches and also it will give the left conus branch so this is the left coronary artery running between the left auricle and the pulmonary trunk this is the circumflex artery so posterior it will anastomos with the right coronary artery this is the left marginal branch running along the left margin of the heart till the apex this one branch is running 
in the anterior interventricular groove this is the anterior interventricular artery winding around the inferior border then this is the left conus branch these are the septal branch this is the diagonal branch so now we will see right coronary artery it supplies to right atrium SA node maximum portion of the right ventricle posterior one third of the interventricular septum to the AV node right atrioventricular or AV bundle next we have the left coronary artery it supplies to it will supply both right and left ventricle anterior two-third of the interventricular septum and to the left branch of AV bundle on posterior aspect of left atrium